Hey everybody, welcome to Refabbed. Um, my name is Brooke and if you happen to be new here, I just wanna say welcome. Let me tell y'all something before we get started. This is very important and I want to make sure that you all hear this. With the pandemic in place, which is very serious, and um, of course we're all affected by it in different ways. This is lighthearted, but it's also very true. Our hair salons are shut down right now. That means that my hair, which has always been a hot mess, is gonna be even more of a hot mess. So before I get any comments, y'all are gonna have to just bear with me I'm doing the best I can. I got a ponytail on top of my head like a two-year-old and it is just fine. So um, we're gonna be making it through this next month or more that we're still gonna have to be in quarantine and our hair may suffer and our nails may suffer, but we are gonna get through this together. So anyway, let's get started. So we got kind of a lot to do within a 30 minute time frame. So we're gonna definitely have to quit talking as much and get a move on this. So here's what we're gonna do. I have a Dollar Tree. Now I know y'all can't go to the Dollar Tree right now or I don't know where, where you can go and can't go. I haven't left the house in over 14 days, but this is from my stash. Um, so I have a Dollar Tree pot. They come in a set of two for a dollar. Right, so back to crafting, this is gonna be quick. Dollar Tree two for a dollar, these little pots. I took some, uh, what is this stuff? Uh, foam, like styrofoam pieces, cut it with a kitchen knife this morning. Let's just be real here. Cut it with a kitchen knife, stuck it down in there. We're gonna paint this. We're gonna attach it to this wood block for the only reason that I like a wood block and I think it's pretty, that's all. Um, and we are going to take one of our wooden dowels and I've got two size wooden dowels cause I'm not sure which one I'm going to need. Um, this was from Hobby Lobby. This one's from Dollar Tree. It's going to go down into my, uh, pot here. It's probably going to be the taller one, but we'll see. And then we are going to attach this sign and we're going to mod podge this onto the sign. Are y'all confused yet? Okay, let's get started. <laughs> so before we do anything else, let's paint this because this is gonna take about two minutes to dry. So I've got this little chip brush. There were four for a dollar at Hobby Lobby, I think. And we are gonna use some white paint, just white craft paint. So I'm just painting this white. That's all we're doing here, painting it white with a chip brush. We are not worried about making sure that it is um, totally covered because the truth is we don't care because we want it to kind of have a bit of an aged look. We're not doing like um, a whitewash, but in a way it kind of ends up being like that because we're just barely getting it on here. It's looking like this, see what I mean? And we're gonna tie a bow around it so you're not even gonna see a whole lot of this um, pot. So here's my little pot. Like I said, um, it's, you know, just kind of dry brushed a little bit on there, okay? We will attach it to this at the end. So we're not gonna be worried about that right now. I'm just gonna sit it on top of it and let it dry. In fact, if you wanna know the truth, it's practically dry already. And this is what it looks like inside. It's got a piece of styrofoam stuck down in there, okay? Heck no, you don't have to wear a bra during quarantine. No, ma'am. I only am because I'm live, and if you want to know the truth, you wouldn't be able to tell anyway. <laughs> I'm pretty small. Okay, so let's get back on track. So here is, this was from Dollar Tree, and it looked like this when I first got it. I stained it this color. Um, and so I'm gonna actually Mod Podge over it though. It came with the hanger and I'm taking it out because we're gonna put scrapbook paper over this and we're gonna cover the holes. So let's just lay this bad boy down just like this. If y'all are not familiar with Mod Podging, you flip it over the off, 
opposite direction and then you just take a pencil or a pen or whatever you want to do trace it and cut it oops i get a little carried away i'm terrible at tracing y'all i'm not even joking about that oh my gosh okay okay so this is what it looks like and first of all look how beautiful this scrapbook paper is I just absolutely love it. Um, it is literally gorgeous. And I love color in my home. I really love it year round, but especially spring and summer just makes me feel so happy. I am just not an all neutral girl. I'm just not. And um, color makes me smile. So this is something that I've been adding to my home lately. It's just a bunch of color. And this scrapbook paper will be perfect. So here's this. We are gonna adhere it to my little wood sign to make it look like this. Therefore, what we need to do is take our little foam brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some uh, Mod Podge on the back of my scrapbook paper, and I just ran out of Mod Podge. I did not put near enough. Get some more on there. You can get these little Mod Podge things at the Dollar Tree, okay? Now, I know you can't right now, or maybe Dollar Tree is still open. I do not know, but whether it's open or not, stay your tail at home. I'm just going to tell you, stay your tail at home. We want to get over this and resume with normal life, normal healthy life. So even if it's open, wait. Wait and get it later or get it online, which they are closed online, I do know that. But anyway, so let's adhere it now that we got all the Mod Podge on the back. Oh, gotta move it up a little, that's not far enough up. Okay. Make sure when you are Mod Podging, and you have put all that on there that you smooth it out really good, okay? So we're gonna set this aside now because we're done with this. Well, no, we're not, we're, we're still using this. We are not done with this, okay. Here's something, I've got this piece of burlap, okay? I am going to put it, I'm gonna cut it first, actually is what I'm gonna do here. These scissors work like a charm. They are like the most amazing scissors. I mean, look at them. I had a follower send them to me. Um, so we're gonna hot glue this across the front. Okay, you're like, wow, that's beautiful scrapbook paper. Because we need to, because I've got plans. Now if I can get my hot glue gun over here. What in the world is my hot glue gun trying to do here? Hold on guys, just a second. Hang with me, hang with me. Oh, I got it. Oops. Take a breath, Brooke. Okay, put just a tiny bit of hot glue on the back of this so I can adhere it to my board here. Y'all, I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> Y'all got to hear my very annoying sneeze. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, so we got this across the front. And I don't know if y'all saw this earlier. It says, hello. It is a wooden cutout. I got from a local man, but you can find these at like Hobby Lobby in different places. Um, I'm gonna paint this, okay? I'm gonna paint it yellow. I'm gonna paint it like a mustard yellow. This is what I'm bringing out, is this color right here. I'm bringing this out, okay? Um, they are Fiskars. So I'm going to go ahead and paint it real quick with my King's Gold paint. It's a really good mustard color. Okay, I'm going to paint it that color with my little paintbrush. I'm not going to paint the sides because they are um, laser cut and they're already black and they're perfect. So I'm just going to paint the word with my yellow King's Gold mustard beautiful paint. Y'all, how are y'all making it being home? 
I know some of you are going to watch this on the replay and you're working on the front lines and I want you to know we cannot even tell you how much we appreciate you. Seriously. Um, we, you know, I don't, I hope that you all know that just because we're doing crafts and we're still showing fun stuff on our pages, it does not take away from the job that we know you're doing and that doesn't take away from the stress and anxiety that so many people are under during this pandemic. We know that. We are just trying to provide y'all with um, an escape. We're trying to provide y'all with a time that you can just um, not have to worry and you can just watch something fun. That is the point of this. It's not to make light of what's going on or that we don't realize that it's serious but we have to be able to get our minds off of things and focus on something that brings us joy and up for a lot of us that is crafting each and every day not just today but i just kind of wanted to mention that i wanted to say we're praying i'm praying uh, i guess i need to just talk about myself although i think i speak for everyone um i'm praying for you all um i know that we're all being affected differently and we're definitely praying for everyone in this time. So just know that. And just know that we're just going to keep popping on, sharing fun stuff. And that we hope to bring you lots and lots of joy. So here is my hello. It is not backwards. It is just this, okay? So how cute is this? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and hot glue it on because there's no reason not to. Um, because the back part is, hasn't been painted, so it can dry on its own. So I'm just going to put some paint. A little tricky because this is kind of some skinny letters. Okay. Oh, y'all, this is cute. Now, I don't want to toot my own horn, but it's pretty cute. The time is flying, Kathy. My goodness telling you what it's flying how cute is this how cute is this seriously oh my gosh okay so back to what we were doing i painted this at the beginning okay Whoop. um the middle don't matter because i'm gonna be doing something in just a second so i am gonna put some hot glue at the bottom of my uh pot here I told y'all at the beginning, I'm putting it on this wood um, cut out, my wood slice, only because I like this wood slice. That is literally all, okay? Um, so here's that. Now, here's the next step. I'm gonna take this wooden dowel and I am going to place it down into my, ooh, holy cow, down into my whatever this is, because I keep styrofoam okay then, 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 then and if you want to go back and paint this or stain this go ahead i mean it don't matter um i'm not probably gonna do that but you can so i'm going to attach this sign okay i will show y'all how i'm gonna do this because i'm not positive yet <laughs> um i'm gonna attach this sign to this so I'm gonna lay this down right now. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to put some hot glue right here to get started on the back. It's gonna have to take a little bit more than hot glue, okay? And we're going to attach this. Can y'all see this? I think you can, okay? We're gonna attach it. I think it'll stay on its own, but now I don't wanna, I don't really wanna risk it. I'm just gonna be completely honest with you. And then I'm gonna take this extra piece of burlap we had, okay? I'm gonna fold it in half, and I'm gonna place it on the back right here across it. This is where I'm a little nervous. Well, okay, actually I'm not. I have my stapler right here. But can I tell you, the hello is not backwards. It's just the image on the thing. But I'm scared. I've just not thought about it. I'm scared that these are thicker than my board because I had a, a different board at first. 
and I don't think that I'm afraid that's gonna go through so what I'm gonna do is just hot glue because this board is not very heavy at all so I think that it'll be okay to put some hot glue on this to help it stay okay so look guys how cute we're not done we're almost done though and no it's not backwards it's just the mirror image I'll show y'all a picture when we're done how cute okay this is actually turning out I was a little nervous I got a couple more things to do so I might be like two minutes over but I promise they'll forgive me okay so I've got this piece of, uh, whatever this is, ribbon. I'm sorry, y'all. When y'all go live by yourself, um, you will understand. And we are simply going to just kind of set it in here. That's all. Just kind of set it in here. It's all we're doing. Not even gluing it. Just setting it in here just like this. Okay? That's all. Now, the next thing we're going to do, and then we will be done, is we're going to add a burlap uh, not a burlap, a raffia bow, okay? So, you just take your raffia. This is from the Dollar Tree, of course. And if you've never made a raffia bow, let me tell you how. Just cut it, and then it looks like this. And kind of just get it together and all that good stuff. And start bundling it up, okay? Start bundling it up. It's gonna be wild, it don't matter. It does not matter at all. Um, see, bunching it in the center. Take a piece of twine or another piece of um, raffia. It does not matter, but I'm just gonna use twine because I've got it. Tie it in the center. Okay, so here's my little bow. I'm just gonna put it right here. Or maybe I'm gonna put it right here. I will put it down here, actually. This is a good idea, down at the bottom. By the skin of my teeth, I'm done. How cute. And I I'll, I'll, might need to up this just a tad, because we know that I'm running close on time, but it's okay. We know we knew that some were gonna go over, some will be shorter. Uh, but how cute is this? I will always, if you don't follow me, make sure you're following me. I'm being serious, okay? Make sure you're following me because you don't want to miss out on all the fun here. We do fun stuff all the time, okay? Make sure you're following each and every one of us when we go live. And let me also say this. I always show an after picture staged in my home after I do every craft. So I will be popping back on in a second. Y'all can look later and I will show y'all what this looks like staged in my house so you can see a final picture staged. And it just kind of helps. Um, so make sure you sprinkle. Tell me you sprinkled. Make sure you come back and see the final uh, result. And bye, guys.